Namaste to all the viewers and uh, welcome to our channel, the Outlier 73. Well, uh, there are instructions issued by the GST department to the officers regarding the issue or uh, selection of the scrutiny notices uh, for the financial year 2017-18 and 18-19. In order to bring about an uniformity in the selection of the scrutiny cases, there are certain parameters which has been uh, instructed to the officers through this notice. Well, right now, the year chosen for the scrutiny cases are 2017 and 2018. Well, uh, these were the years of inception of uh, GSD and uh, due to maybe due to inadequate knowledge, then there are high chances of uh, scrutiny cases being selected due to the discrepancies found in the return file. There are 13 parameters or the criteria on the basis of which the scrutiny cases will be selected and the notices will be sent. Let me briefly go through these 13 uh, criteria uh, in a very brief way. Let me, uh, I request the listeners to be aware of these criteria and to take a precautionary measures and be ready with certain explanations or the supportings or the working papers in case if the notices are given. Well, the very first uh, parameter is uh, whenever there is a mismatch in the outward supply, that is outward taxable supply as declared in GSTR 1 and GSTR 3B and which further results in the short payment of taxes, it may invite the notice. Well, uh, moving on to the second point. There are three parts under this point. Point number two basically deals with the RCM, that is reverse charge mechanism. Well, uh, reverse charge mechanism, in case of reverse charge mechanism, you will be paying tax in case of two category of person, that is it may be registered person as well as unregistered person. Well, in case of unregistered person, it will be self invoicing first and then taking off and uh, then taking off the itc as uh, the tax paid through that self invoice well uh, there will be a verification of the tax paid in through that self invoice with that of the itc claim and if any discrepancy is found it may lead to the selection of the case Moving on to the registered person. Now, in case of registered person, GSTR 2A filed and GSTR 3B will be verified. It will be cross verified. And if any discrepancy will be is found, then it may attract the attention of the department. The third sub point under this point itself is the important one. That is in case of RCM, it will also be checked whether the tax is paid through cash or not. Well, moving on to the point number three, that is ITC availed in case of ISD, ITC as per 3B will be verified with GST 2A and if any mismatch is found, it may attract the notice. Moving on to point number four, in case of balance ITC, that is ITC which is remaining after the RCM or the ISD, it will be matched with GSTR 2A. Anyway, in 2017, 18 and 18, 19, there was no such concept of complete matching of the ITC availed with GSTR 2A. However, the interesting thing is for the selection criteria or the selection of scrutiny cases, this, this will be still adopted and the scrutiny selection will be taken. Moving on to point number five. Point number five, in case of uh, TDS deducted or TCS collected, department will match the details as furnished by the deductor with that of the outward supply as declared in the GSTR 3B. If any short payment of tax is noticed, then the case will be chosen for scrutiny. The next point, the sixth point is, GSTR 3B will be matched with eBay bills and if any short payment of tax is noticed, then there may be a 
then that case may be chosen for scrutiny. Well, the in short, wherever there is a short payment of uh, taxes, and if it is noticed by the department with any of these criteria, it will be a attractive case for scrutiny. Moving on to point number seven, if ITC is claimed from a registered person whose registration has been cancelled retrospectively, and if any supplier has uh, availed, and in case if the supplier has availed the ITC in respect of the invoices or the debit notes issued after that effective date of cancellation of uh, registration, then the case will be chosen for scrutiny. Moving on to point number eight, very important point. If ineligible ITC is availed in respect of invoices or debit note issued by the supplier who has not filed his GSTR return for the relevant tax period, then it, we must be careful that the case will be chosen for scrutiny. Let's move on to the next point. That is point number nine. Point number nine speaks about section 16.4. Well, uh, section 16.4 basically deals with the time limit for availing of ITC. Now, what is this time limit for availing of ITC? When any financial year end ends, the due date for filing of GSTR 3B for the month of September of the next financial year or the due date for filing of the annual return, whichever is earlier, should be the time limit for availing of ITC. In case if you have availed the ITC after this time period or time limit as specified in section 16.4, then the notice may be issued. Moving on to point number 10. In case of import, it will be closely verified with the ICE gate. Moving on to point number 11, a very important and a critical point. Well, the point number 11 speaks about rule 42 and rule 43. Well, rule 42 and 43 deals with the reversal of I input. 42 deals with the input with regard to goods and services and 43 speaks about capital goods. It's all about input and goods of uh, services uh, which are used uh, both for business and personal purpose or if it is used for in combination with taxable and exempt supply. Department checks on the reversal of ITC on personal and exempt sales supplies. If any discrepancy is found, it may draw the attention of the uh, attention towards the scrutiny. Moving on to point 12, if for uh, any there is a uh, there's a delay of tax payment and if interest is not paid as a result of delay in tax, this also will attract the attention of the department. The last point, that is point number 13, if uh, there is an instance of uh, non-payment of late fee, we were due to the delay in filing of the return or filing of the tax payments, then this may also lead to the attraction of scrutiny notice. Thank you friends for watching this video till the end. I kindly request you to subscribe to this channel in more numbers in order to get daily updates on GST and income tax. Well, uh, I would also request you to share this video among your friends. Thank you.